So initially, we want to UV her hair, and this is so we can add a bump map just to give us the hair detail in there so the hair doesn't just look like one flat object. So let's just select one section for now. We'll just view that selection and what I have already set up, sign existing material, checker. Now this is just a basic checker map texture as you can see um, and it's highlighting the fact that the UVs on this model are rubbish. So we're just going to go to Window, UV Texture Editor, just drag this down. We'll hide the image. So these are the current UVs. If I press 1, you'll see they change because they adapt to how the smooth mesh model is. Press 3 again, and you can also edit how the smooth mesh reacts with UVs. If I press Ctrl A, open up the smooth mesh options here uh, extra controls and down here you have your UV options uh, which dictate what happens to it once you UV it so if we turn off I'll just move this back in smooth all um, and the borders do not smooth you see the edges stay hard or they soften um, we may not want to smooth the UVs at all so we can disable it there. We do want to work smooth them in this uh, instance. Let's just close that down. Now you may find when you're pre uh, applying UVs that they, they don't work properly. Well, let me just uh, apply some. All we're going to do, hold space, create UVs, play in our map. And we're just going to project on top of it down the Y axis, like so. And you see that's given us some nice UVs, although they are stretched around the edges. And because we didn't build the underneath, we don't have to worry about inverted UVs or flipped UVs. Open up our UV editor, and here we have them projected. So I'm just going to select them all. I'm going to right click on Unfold Selected UVs. And all I'm going to do is uh, Unfold Constraint Horizontal. So all this is going to do is um, adjust them horizontally, make sure that's UVs, they should be green. Click apply and that unfolds them horizontally but they're not working ideally so let's just try a vertical. We'll just uh, try and make this a bit bigger, it's a bit difficult to see on this uh, small screen. Click apply and that unfolds them vertically but again it's not it's not brilliant. We need a bit more geometry in there so May has got a bit more to work with, and it can work on the tension between the uh, the vertices, well, or the UVs. So what I'm going to do is going to mesh smooth. We'll just open those options. We're just going to add one division level. We'll turn off smooth UVs because we're editing the UVs. Click smooth. That's given us a little bit of extra geometry to play with. So let's just start again, just to be sure. Play in our map from above, select the UVs, and now we could just press 1 and turn off Smooth Mesh just to see how this works. Open up our Unfold options, Unfold Horizontally, Unfold Vertically, and that's working a bit better because it's got that extra geometry to work in. But if you want to be a bit more particular, what we could do is select the edge down the middle, just press B because I've got soft select on for some reason. Convert that selection to UVs and then what we're going to do is align it so that they're all in a straight line and just move those out there so we can see them. So down the middle is an exact straight line. Select all the others, open up our unfold op uh, options again and this time we're not going to constrain it because we have pin UVs unselected UV selected these won't be affected click apply and what that has done is conformed the UVs around this line down the center which we straightened so that means we've got a nice straight line and a nice straight set of UVs press 3 that just smooths it out for us we can see that's looking okay so let's say for example we've got this one done as we can see, 
nicely laid out and we can see these edges of the texture if you imagine they're the uh, the strands on the bump map they're going to flow along the object nicely show isolate selected bring back the rest of the hair now what we're going to do is we are going to copy the UVs from this section of hair to the rest so what I'll do first I will just select these elements here and we'll just isolate them I'm going to press control space just so we can make that a little bit bigger I'm going to delete by type history which will delete that and bake in that smooth which we had there now we need to apply the same smooth to the rest of the objects to keep the topology exactly the same so select the rest, rest mesh smooth like so again we'll just delete that history and what we're going to do is copy the UVs from there to there first of all window rendering editors hypershade what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply that checker to the rest just so we can see this working we're going to select the source and the destination we're going to go to edit mesh or maybe it's mesh transfer attributes open that up I'll just reset the settings now because we're copying from one object to the to another with the same topology we could try using topology make sure UV sets is set to all click apply and there you see it's copied the UVs across if we open up the UV editor just to show that it's worked object 1 object 2 exactly the same UVs so let's close that down we can also close this down select our source our destination and press G which will duplicate the last command and we can just go around these just pressing G deselect select G deselect select G so now when we apply our bump map to one strip it's going to work on all the others and the, with the UVs being in exactly the, the same place it's not really going to matter So we'll just continue around pressing G and that has quickly copied the same UVs to the rest of the hair now apart from organizing the uh, UV layout so it fits better into our texture space which will be here between 0 and 1 so we can move that over and you can scale that and play around with it so it better fits your bump map which you can apply later which will be a basic grayscale map just with um, strips on to uh, give more detail to the hair delete by type history so there we've created the UV map for the hair and a lot of the other objects these strips at the front of the head can be done exactly the same way although what you'll need to do because these are solid is cut a seam down the back when you unfold your UVs the same can be applied to this strip of hair here as well create a seam down the back remember to work off put your seams where they're not going to be seen so if she's going to be rendered from this sort of angle put the seams down the back of the hair and a lot of the other objects these pages etc are all just basic objects so it's just a case of plain our map define your seams unfold and then tweak them remembering that if the UVs don't work fine straight away add a smooth to the model and this will help uh, when you uh, manipulate the UVs so that's the basic hair done and like I say you can apply that to pretty much everything else her clothing um, her eyebrows maybe her eyelashes her jewelry 
you could flat shade those there's no need to go in and do the UV those the same for this uh, spiral decoration on her book her bookmark maybe even this swirl around her body uh, her clothing again you may want to add some detail onto this so UV that um, the body I'm sort of skirting around this because we could use a basic material just to give us a nice uniform skin shader and then paint in the details in Photoshop later um, or you could go through and UV her if you're wanting to add in more surface detail onto her um, now for this tutorial I may depending on how things go attempt to try and use some sort of subsurface scattering on her skin just to make it appear a bit more realistic uh, but in the next video what we'll do when we're exploring lighting and shading we'll apply some basic uh, materials to her uh, which will give us a skin effect anyway and that, with that being said we don't really need to UV her body but what I've done is I've already gone ahead and applied UVs so what I'll do is I will just open up my outliner now I'm going to hide this one is our work in progress and bring back this model here as you can see we've applied UVs to pretty much everything it just gives us a bit more flexibility and we've also done it to the body if we open up the UV texture editor here as you can see we've had to divide it into a few different sections uh, there's something going on funky going on here that's probably the smooth mesh um, that needs tidying up. The fingers still need a bit of work. But you'll see here I divided the object into key sections which meant it was easier for me to work on them. So I detached the arms, detached the body, detached the head and also detached the ears otherwise they collapse in on themselves and uh, they're not very useful uh, for painting on or texturing. Now, like I said previously, I'm probably not going to apply a texture to the body, but this is just showing an example of how we would uh, lay out the UVs for the body. So, very quickly, what I'll do is I will just, let's just select that. Go to UV shell, select the, the arms to UV shell. Now this is making it a lot easier for me to select because I have already UV'd her but you can see here the elements that I selected when I separated the body. What we'll do mesh extract. So let's pretend this is, isn't is UV'd. Now what I would do let's just separate those. Now for the body again we want the seam down the back here just so it's hidden from view so what I would do is create UV play in our map now which area is going to have the most surface uh, is going to need is going to be viewed more and that is probably down the X so we'll project that down the X like so turn back the texturing back on just so we can see how those UVs are there and then we go to window UV texture editor which shows us our projected UVs and we will just select a line going straight down her back polygon cut UVs where is it gone there we go so we've designed defined a seam which will open up and again like we did before we can just go in open up our unfold options and initially just do horizontal like so then do vertical again like so and that's given us these laid out UVs here but just like we did with the hair if we want to we could go in and select the edge right down the middle here making sure we've got everything selected is that going all the way down to the bottom? Yep. Convert selection to UVs and again constrain them, which puts them in a nice neat line for us. And I'm going to unfold these vertically 
just to spread out the bottom a little bit. That's probably as much as it's going to allow me to do. Select none, apply, and as you see down here, we have an area which is bunched together. Let me just close that. So what we could do, select those UVs and pull them down because we want those unfolding. And then we're just going to select the bottom of her body here. So remember everything that's not selected is constrained. We'll set it to none this time. Click apply and that just unfolds it between the tip and up here which aren't selected. So that should have fixed that area that was folded in on itself. And then we can select the tip like so. Click none. And then that's just going to need a bit of work just to tidy that up. If we press three, you can see it's folding in on itself a little bit. Press one to turn off smooth mesh. But then you just need to go in, pull some of these around just to tidy up that tip. But there it's pretty much unfolded. Now these areas have collapsed in on themselves, so what you do is you just, uh, if we just isolate that so it's on its own. We have these holes under here and when Maya's trying to unfold the UVs, um, there's no geometry in there so it's collapsing in on itself. So what we could do is perhaps just go in, mesh, fill hole. And on this side, press G, and then we go to our UV editor again. And this time we could just select the top of the body, set this to none, click apply, and that's just opened up those areas a little bit there because it's got the geometry inside to keep it open. So that's just a very quick overview of the ways to approach texturing, uh, UVing this character and all the different elements ready for uh, texturing. Now again you could just go in and you could cut some more of these seams to open up the shoulders a little bit more like I had previously and if we just bring back everything else so for the arms again separate the top and the bottom of the arm project UVs down it and then just using exactly the same process as we did for the body to unfold those horizontally then vertically and pulling out the tips of the fingers just like we did with her tail using none and then just adjusting the UVs generally just to get a nice layout. Now like I said we may not physically use texture the body but it's just handy to have it UV just in case. You may want to go in uh, into a uh, take her briefly into an application like ZBrush or 3D coat and paint in some extra textures so it's just there if you want to. So we'll leave this video here because it's dragging on a bit and I'm waffling on a little bit. Um, in the next video what we'll probably do is take, go to the next step and start adding lighting to the scene um, and playing around with some basic shaders and some rim lighting.